how nice that is. That's that's beautiful. And the color that's looks great. the perfect thickness. Yeah. I think that'll be yeah, fantastic. Yeah, cool, right? Awesome. When George, the taxidermist, and the conservation team started assessing the mounts, one thing that was important to start fixing on these animals were the nose pads. That's something in taxidermy that can age and be very obvious, and it's a way you can liven up the animal. We call it structural repointing, which is basically going in and remodeling the nose pads in the eyes and fixing ears. I've been aware on the fifth floor in exhibition, they're all the masks of the taxidermy. They're all upstairs hanging on the wall. So one day George and I went up and we kind of, we looked and we're like, that is a male bison nose pad. <laughs> so I got it and it was dusty and hadn't been looked at. And we realized it was probably the original. The patterning and the formations and the modules, everything was really accurate for us to take a mold and then put a new nose on the male bison. We were looking for a treatment method that would be as reversible as possible and wouldn't do any damage to the underlying structure, what was already there. What we ended up doing was using a material called Biva, which is often used in conservation in the context of paintings restoration, but also has been used here at the museum historically when working with skin materials and some taxidermy materials. This was the original silicone mold that was made from the death cast. And then into this mold was poured hot wax to make this wax positive. You can see that fits right there. And then this is the cast where we did a little bit of work to enhance the texture. And then this wax positive was used to create the second silicone mold. And then into this mold we placed the Biva. Ultimately, we also ended up doing a lot of painting, both on the back side and on the front side, to bring the final product into a good visual relationship with the rest of the specimen. The fact that this was a cast that we had here, um, kind of working from the past to the present, was an interesting way to go, too. It's not like we just ordered a prefabricated cast, you know, from a from a different company. We used what the, what the museum's collection had available and kind of brought it back to life. 